President Enrique Peña Nieto, in his defense, argues that with the rise in international oil prices and Mexico dependent on gasoline imports, the government has no option apart from increasing gas prices. During his speech last Thursday, President Nieto, while appealing to some 120 million Mexicans for understanding, was seen gesturing at the camera while saying, what would you have done? Mexicans responded swiftly on social media in an eruption of disgust and recommendations. Among them, combat corruption and impunity and eliminate gasoline vouchers for elected officials. Many called for increased tax for multinational companies, others suggesting to cut salaries and benefits for high-level government officials or to sell the presidential plane. Many even suggested to reduce First Lady Angelica Rivera's wardrobe spending. Having faced a tough week and coming into another tough one, 50-year-old Nieto seems to be trapped in a downward spiral of unpopularity. With about two years remaining in his presidential term and Mexico reeling from countless battles such as corruption, a climbing homicide rate and a thriving drug trafficking industry, to name a few. The few voices of support for President Nieto from political circles and news commentators have been drowned by the massive decry. The discontentment boiling over into looting and protests set off clashes with security forces last week resulting in several deaths and over 1,500 arrests. With Mexicans already facing rising inflation, the backlash against the new prices has been dramatic. Student Damaris Hoyos said that a rise in the prices of fuel ends up affecting every segment of society. Lorraine Gabina, MTV World News.